Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Tanner Knust with 31 Triple Doppler. Some incredible images there. Yeah. Uh, I guess it kind of looked like winter out there for a second. <laughs> really Colorado does some weird stuff sometimes like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, meanwhile, a quiet day here in North Alabama. Cool down was nice today. Yeah, really felt very comfortable out there. Uh, we'll have a couple more days like that. We're also going to throw some rain back into the mix, uh, uh -huh. maybe as soon as tomorrow morning. So that is something uh, that we're watching out for closely, along with the thunderstorm threat. Uh, today was the coolest day of the month of June so far. We barely got to 80 degrees briefly in Huntsville this afternoon. Many of you stayed in the 70s this afternoon, and uh, we could very well stay put in the 70s tomorrow as well. The reason for the cool down is basically what's happening in the uh, jet stream level of the atmosphere. Several thousand feet above the ground. We have this dip in the jet stream. Whenever you see that, typically you get cooler than average temperatures, uh, and that's exactly what we're seeing from the Great Lakes down into the southeast U.S. as well. Uh, that is likely going to be a pattern that sticks around the next day or two before we flip to more typical summer weather later on this week. At this hour, we are cooling down to the 60s at this moment uh, for basically all of North Alabama, down to 61 in Coleman and 66 degrees at this hour in Huntsville. Forecast low in the Rocket City is 60 later on tonight. 31 triple Doppler showing some false radar returns, so that speckled blue there, that's not rain. We are all dry across North Alabama right now, but that could change late tonight. Let's walk through future radar, and once we get to about 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, I anticipate we'll see some showers begin to stream in from the west. Now we may get a rumble of thunder or two out of these, but most of this is just going to be scattered showers early in the day on Tuesday, making for a wet drive for some of you. That will be most likely south of the Tennessee River, but I'm not ruling it out for at least some brief rain in Huntsville tomorrow morning. Once we get to the afternoon, there's a good chance we are going to see conditions dry out. So here's the day planner for tomorrow in Huntsville. Again, about a 40% chance of showers early in the day. Those numbers drop down to about a 20% chance once we get to the afternoon and we may even get some sunshine tomorrow afternoon. As far as the temperatures go, once again, we are cooler than average with most of us topping out in the 70s. The better chance at stormy weather and potentially severe weather tomorrow is going to be to our south for the areas highlighted in yellow. That's where a level two out of five risk is in place for severe weather on Tuesday. Our southern tier of counties south of the Tennessee River are under a level one risk for severe storms. If we get that to materialize, that's likely not going to be the case until Tuesday night when we get our next surge of strong storms to roll through, and that threat will continue into Wednesday as well. Straight line winds up to 50 miles per hour are likely going to be the main threat with that, along with some heavy downpours, especially for folks farther to the south. So again, after we dry out in the afternoon for most spots, tomorrow evening looking quiet as well. It's going to be late in the night, Tuesday night, that we could see some redevelopment of thunderstorms mainly to the south. During the day Wednesday, that's going to be folks farther to the north, your best chance at some passing thunderstorms, some of which could be strong. We'll be watching out for that on Wednesday afternoon and on Wednesday evening before we trend drier for the second half of the work week. Best chance at heavier rain totals will be farther to the south, where one to three inches of rain will be possible not nearly as much expected farther to the north. Summer like weather returns on Thursday with highs in the upper 80s and we will stick around 90 degrees late this week through early next week. We are monitoring a chance at scattered storms over the weekend, including on Father's Day. So that's going to be uh, something we'll watch out for. I don't anticipate a complete washout. Wash out. Yeah, okay. yeah, just kind of the typical passing uh, hit and miss showers and storms.